Affinity Photo 1.9 has a pattern builder, but so far nothing like that exists in Designer. So this is a quick workaround for making basic patterns. Let's dive in. So I'm going to start with some basic shapes using the shape building tools. And once I've got that, I'm going to make some copies and just do a few additional designs. I turn on the transform each option uh, that transforms separately the items and keeps them centered in this case. And I'm just going to make some copies and use some of the <clears throat> geometry tools to add together. Um, since we're making um, these are going to be patterns for a brush, so the white will be invisible and the black will be whatever color the brush is set to. Um, in this case, when you're making your slices in export mode, the space around the object is really important. Um, it shows how the pattern will uh, repeat. So if you want some space between your objects on the repeating pattern, just make sure that your slice bounding box is larger. I like to start by drawing the box around the shape and then holding down Shift Option Command on the Mac or Shift Control Alt on the PC to expand from the center. Back in Pixel Persona, we're going to create a new round brush. Double click to open up the options and in the texture, uh, we're going to select the texture from one of those items we've created. I'm going to set the size of the brush really large and what that lets us do is really quickly create the pattern. You can partially or completely recolor the pattern and then by making a duplicate of the layer and offsetting manually, uh, fill in the, the layer spaces. Again, the slice determines how far each um, item is spaced from its uh, neighbor. By doing two layers with two different colors, you can offset and create a multicolored pattern. By making multiple passes with the same pattern brush, but altering the scale, you can create some really interesting randomized patterns that aren't exactly symmetrical. There's a lot of things you can experiment with to create interesting patterns using effects and blending modes and opacity, for example. You can also try using two different brushes on two different layers to create a pattern with multiple shapes involved. One more example to round us off. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you've learned something, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll see you next time.